Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to a different kind of video, which is what I say every single time, uh, but there's different topics, it's not really a different kind of video, but anyways, rambling aside, we have a little bit of an oopsie uh, happening out here in the Dead by Daylight community, specifically having to do with behavior making a huge oopsie, because there's been a recent incident where a streamer has been perma-banned for holding somebody hostage after they were held hostage first for a longer period of time. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So if you are unaware of this situation, you're not out there in the DVD social media space, A, good for you, stay that way. <laughs> but B, uh, if you're not aware of that, let me go ahead and inform you. Uh, there is a very known, excellent spirit main who's very, very informative and great at the character. Uh, it goes by many different names, but by most socials that you will find them on is Look At My Feet or Look At My Feet DVD. Also goes by David. Um, they ended up in a situation on Midwich, uh, which is a map that they do not enjoy, <laughs> uh, where they had, uh, uh, a very very early 2k uh, but as a result the other two survivors decided to stop and not do the gens from that point on which is holding them hostage which is totally valid and, and by behavior standards totally bannable totally an actual offense to just refuse to do the main objective for a very very long time but, but just, just, just for a little bit of a spoiler uh, here the match ended up being a total of 26 minutes long by the way, 26 minutes long, as the last two survivors and Ada and a David decided that they were just going to not do anything for the rest of the match. Now, this is where the controversy comes in, because obviously it's pretty black and white, pretty simple to see who's in the wrong here. But look at my feet does end up finding someone uh, in a corner, that being the Ada and body blocks them for quite some time. Uh, I think it was like seven, eight minutes, something like that. And the David does end up deciding to do the gens, but only after the point at which that the body block begins. So David was not actively doing the objective up until that point, until he realized that the, the killer, the spirit was not going to be going anywhere. So in this, in this scenario, it's pretty obvious to see that the ones that were holding them hostage to begin with are the ones that were doing the wrong thing and that the spirit player was just retaliating. However, that is not how this ended up going and behavior did end up perma banning this person, not suspending their account, not temporary banning them, but perma banning them on their first offense because of this, which is a wild reaction considering that it was just a return fire for something that was happening to them in the first place. I think this is a problem that's been in DBD for quite some time, and I'm sure you've been in a situation where you've been held hostage on both sides of Dead by Daylight, specifically with the killer scenario. I've run into this situation multiple times, and I actually had a, a, a very brief end game chat with someone who did this to me once, and it is very much on purpose. I know usually uh, whenever there's kind of a conversation like this, usually the internet contrarians like to come out of the woodwork and be like, well, maybe they were new and they just didn't know any better, and maybe they were just scared, or maybe they just were both waiting on a hatch because they thought that was the right thing to do. When I had that end game chat with that that person uh, that did it to me, they were actually a, a actively a toxic streamer. Like, I don't mean that in like, I, I checked the stream and they're just, they were just being toxic. No, they like self-identified as a toxic streamer. It was in their title. It was in their about section. It was in their YouTube content. Like they, that, that was their whole shtick was, was being toxic. And they, and they had definitely, they were advertising their whole brand around it. So when I asked them about it, uh, they had said, <laughs> they had said that I deserved it because I was playing sweaty. Now that was a long time ago, so I don't even remember what character I was playing at the time, but apparently I deserved it. <laughs> apparently it was a, an intentional thing to make me suffer because I deserved it for quote unquote playing sweaty. So people definitely do do this on purpose and do abuse the system of Dead by Daylight to create very, very long excruciating matches in order to make you pay for some sort of slight that you've performed against them. For these guys, it could have been as simple as they played Spirit. It could have been as simple as they sweated too hard by killing people early. It could be a multitude of things, but survivors do do this on purpose to try and hold people hostage uh, in order to punish them for, for perceived slice against them, which is really, really lame and really, really awful. So this is done with intention. And I uh, just based on the footage that I saw, it is definitely done with intention in this uh, aspect. And I, I'm really appalled that behavior chose to perma ban on first offense, the person who just retaliated to this treatment instead of the people that were actively causing it. This is like in school where like the bully would start beating you up. But if you threw a punch back, you were both in trouble. This is literally that to a T like that, that. That is what this is. And we all hated that growing up. We all hated that growing up. And now it's being trade out there by behavior. And we don't even know if the other two people were banned. <laughs> like, did they get any action taken? I mean, obviously, um, our, our, our fair spirit player here streams. So that affects them definitely more adversely 
than the other players so that sucks and i think that just overall i think in the, the wider dead by daylight space that we have been asking for a way to circumvent people holding the game hostage for a long time there have been you know over time we've had more changes to try and make it to where people can't have extremely long games but in situations like this where the last two survivors are just kind of like hanging out i'm sure you've had some that just like hide in basement and don't do anything but when somebody doesn't touch the objective or pursue their objective for a long period of time, the fact that we are in 2024 and something still doesn't happen when, the, when they actively decide to do nothing is 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 wild. It's crazy. And I think it's something that we've all wanted for a while. And I think that while it was something that we needed, um, <laughs> it's definitely been accentuated by the fact that they are now just going straight for the bands and not even for the right people over it. Like, this is a problem that, in a sense, you have in your game that you created, but you're punishing the people at the other end of it that are just experiencing your game instead of adjusting the problem yourself, which is not good. Definitely, definitely not good. Right, Will, is it not good? What do you think? you be able to hold people hostage to Dead by Daylight? Hmm. He has no idea. He's like, Dad, put me down. Put me down. I don't care. Yeah, hopefully this player does get unbanned. Clearly, they were just reacting in turn to what the survivor players were doing to them. And what they did was <laughs> far less uh, intense and serious as what they did and was just a, a reaction to them holding the game hostage. It also pulls the curtain back on a wider issue in the Dead by Daylight community that this has been happening for quite some time to a lot of players. I'm sure it's happened to you. So I'm sure you have an experience or two that you can share down in the comments below where this has happened to you, where somebody's tried to hold you hostage and there's not much you can do about it. So I would take this as a teachable moment for behavior to hopefully reverse this decision and try to implement something that prevents this from happening overall. What do you guys think of the situation? It's a pretty wild one. Let me know down in the comments below. But that's gonna be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But if I do not see you tomorrow in my daily upload video, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.